Mm-hmm. Could good and look good. What's up? It's your girl Kumi Chung, back live in the flesh, and that's where I am. I'm in the kitchen teaching you how to cook good and look good. Yeah. All right, so I'm making three ingredient pato cornets something hella simple for, you know, sneaky snacks for you to be able to have yourself a little appetizer or hors d'oeuvres. Give you a little something crispy, crunchy, and crackly just in case you want that taste. All right, what I mean by three ingredient pathocornets, I mean a plantain, green only. Sweet will not give you what you want to eat. Better copycat lollies. One cup of oil. This is not an ingredient, but this is a lovely headed daddy skillet, okay? And a tortilla press, okay? Or a flat glass cup as such. You just need something to match. I'll come more than a knife, something you should have, no matter what I'm telling you, you should have. Side note. Get yourself some paper towels, a rag, dollar stuff, Goodwill, Dollar General. Right. Put that just like that. All we making sure is that the grease has a place to drain and some tongs. Those are your mise en place. Now don't say nothing about my tiny cutting board. It is a cutting board. Okay. That be cutting. All right, so we have here two green plantains because we actually like pat the cornets in our house and we'll be getting into it, okay? Now, usually it is a hit or miss on how well the skins peel off of a green plantain, but today we are praying for the best and Pretending like it's an orange, and we're just gonna peel until we get to the plantain center. Okay. Now you cannot say I didn't put my foot into this one. You, you. It's gonna break when I was talking shiitake. All right, that's why you don't be talking no mess. Okay, guys. Just do what you gotta do. Don't talk. Walk it. All right, so getting the little remainder parts that might be green on there chopped into about half inch pieces. Half inch piece, right? Or anything under an inch, y'all. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I'm getting lost in the sauce. I'm like, yeah, or oh, it's gonna taste so good when I eat it. That don't have nothing to do with what we're doing right now. This is also a simple trick. Cutting it in half allows for the peel not to have a stoppage, okay? It just keeps going. You ain't gonna have it break in half if it's already cut in half, all right? All right. And these were kind of beat up looking plantains, so excuse the ugliness. Bow, bow. And this is where you at, okay? Now I'm gonna just go through here, make sure I got all the greens off because I just like to be thorough. All right, shout out to Boston Bossy and her family teaching me how to make some pathocornis, okay? And they be telling me I be mashing them thin. So let's see how I do today, okay? All right, I think I'll be mashing them good enough for me to get that crunch how I like it, shall we? That crunchy match. Yeah, yeah. Pour your oil in your skillet. All right, there you go. Okay, so this is a quick reminder that 
you want your grease to be able to cover the plantains, okay? Now, I know this is a small pan, okay? It's a small little skillet or whatnot, but the whole point of this is you have to cover the plantain and give it almost a deep fried aesthetic, unless you want to flip them, turn them upside down and around and all that. That's your business. But you want to get them all golden, just golden, not golden brown. Because you're going to fry them twice. So we have here our tortilla press. We have here our pasacones. In the making. These were right about to be a uh, sweet plant I got tell. Cause they was they smell sweet. Just about to go. Alright. So that is the bougie method, okay? I'm gonna take this straight back to the air. Let these fry. brand tortilla process is the only one we claim get that label right there yeah yeah baby all right all right this is what you do when you ain't got no tortilla And bam, same difference, y'all. Same difference. Okay. The more you know. All right, y'all. So we have our lovely flat plantain for um, our lovely pathocones. We're just gonna lay them nice and flat, just like we did before they was mashed to be these lovely golden specimens. So what you wanna do is season while hot. This is the key thing to getting the most flavorful pathocones. It's gonna absorb all that yummy top cat lowries without having to apply so much when it's cool, okay? So proof of crispiness, okay? Yep, we have a serrated edge. All right, I just wanted to prove that before I even got into the facts. All right, so we have here our capricornis, right? Like I said, like I had said. And I made a quick ketchup, ghost pepper, hot sauce. Pathocones is traditionally made with pathocones or plantain, green plantain mashed, and then iodized salt, 
But you know, copycat virus is bad, so. You know, I don't, I don't like that, guys. So. I'm gonna squeeze some lime on it. Just very, very traditional like, okay? This is how Boston Boston, how people would eat it. Boston Boston. Oh my God. Okay. I'm a saucy person. Oh my God. It's the ASMR for me. Mm. I'm not even joking. The soup that I just made right quick was everything. Wow. Wow. Okay. Mm. We don't even need to see that. <laughs> it's King Mom dress. Y'all, that was three ingredient pathogens. You'll eat it and you understand why they want it all the time. I can't go to no party without showing up with them. I can't go to no event without them. Mm. Just make some, y'all. It's Sugar Queen Jones. Bye! Mwah.